Never mind. Let's give it a go. I'm trying my best not to look at the guide. <laughs> Hello! I was not expecting a visitor. A puddle? The tank must be leaking. Uh. Humans one, androids nil. Never mind. It's a foul smelling chemical soup. Ugh. It's letting the chemical goo seep out. Can I close it? I can't reach the tap without stepping in the puddle. It looks like the stuff that lamb eats. Ew! It's sticky and slightly astringent, making my fingers tingle. No obvious explanation of what it's controlling. There aren't any manual controls. Any way to do this? No? <laughs> Is Joey in the way? <laughs> There's a weird fetus thing floating in it. Ugh. Whoever said babies were cute. The casing is thin, but very hard. It's gorilla glass. There's a weird fetus thing. Whoever said the casing is. Well, nobody's ever said a fetus was cute. All right, now that Joey's moved, maybe I can do this. It's letting the chemical... Darn. Maybe I have to clean that up first. Let's go this way. Joey, you're gonna make me fall in this pit. Let's go in here. Joey's <laughs> just in the way. second and in the darkness I see these big yellow eyes just staring at me. <laughs> you silly girl, you scared me. There's a rubbery man in there. <laughs> So that's how androids are created. This tank isn't occupied. This must be the other door that we weren't able to open before. I've got a hunch I'll need to open that. <laughs> you said that on the other side, too. That's the most secure lock I've ever seen. No manual controls. Never mind. What's this? It's a view of the reactor. To surveillance cameras. It's displaying some info.
This monitor is switched on. Alright, I don't know who we log in with. Oh, it doesn't let me put in a card, I don't think. Oh, there's the slot. Two on my keyboard. <laughs> okay, I guess that's what I was supposed to do. You've saved me the bother of coming to Oops. find you. I should have guessed you were part of all this. Why do you think Reich had to die when he tried to kill you? Or that meddling girl who tried to help you escape? Link needs you alive, Overman. That's why it planned this family reunion. Get out while you can, Rob. Stop! Tell me what you want from me! You won't be needing this robot where you're going. It's an android. It wasn't Joey's lucky day. Oh, Joey saved us. Poor Joey didn't last long in that shell. I'll take his board as a memento. As a memento. Aha! Another ID card from my collection. Oh, good. No way of opening it. Oh, oh, this was the door we opened, I think. I don't think we can go in there yet, though. this card here. Okay. Nutrient tank drain open. Possible malfunction of Walter 14. Temperature surge detected. Investigation in progress. Emergency life support on. Clean environment. Have you decontaminated? Okay. I guess that's all that was. Goodness, divine wrath. Uh.
question mark info thing does not really help me in the least. Wait, no, no, no. I can only assume Divine Wrath is supposed to be used on this guy. Wrap crystal 40k design M trip Hobart fun progs protect applications from unauthorized eyes donations to Hobart funware Inc. Uh, I guess it doesn't do anything if <laughs> just now coming out of there. Okay, we're just supposed to blind this thing. I don't know if it's timed to do this. There. I don't know what it's gonna do. Alright, let me see. Alright, I guess I use this on the crystal. The oscillator. Helix 69k to combat the caudal ca caudal syndrome. Check checking the growth of rogue tissue in smart systems. Okay. Let's see. What do I do now that I've got that? I believe we are done with Link Space for good. Alright, this next part's the last bit. a weird looking question mark but okay let's go if I put my hand in there. <laughs>
pressing the keys has no effect. Some tongs. Ha! The virus has caused the program to crash. I guess that's something we needed to do. <laughs> now we're gonna take a tissue sample. Ew. It's a fully formed android body. It's a fully formed android body. Are they all like that? Hey, wake up, rubber features! Oh. Uh. open this up, but it looks like it's already open. Hey, wait! the cabinet here. How do you feel, Joey? I'm not entirely sure, sir. I feel soft and curiously vulnerable. That's because you're practically human. And this feeling of insecurity is natural? Oh yeah, you'll get used to it. <laughs> By the way, sir, take my advice. Don't wake the other androids. Why not? If they've been programmed, they'll terminate you. I think you need a new name, Joey. I concur with your observation, Mr. Foster. What do you consider an appropriate sobriquet? I'm gonna call you Ken. <laughs> That's wonderful news, sir. Tell me, are there any memorable Kens in history? <laughs> A Ken whom I might seek to emulate? All the Kens I can think of were dorks. <laughs> Splendid! It will be my mission in life to make the name Ken synonymous with dorks. How do you like your new body? It's wonderful, sir. There's just one thing. What's that? When will I be getting the accessories? I don't know what you mean. Ears, body hair, those little decorative parts. You're better off without them, believe me. Thanks for saving me from the android. My actions were the only logical course. What I cannot comprehend is how an android could behave in such an irrational manner. Why, it was almost as if he was human. <laughs> what did he mean by a family reunion? 
since your mother was killed. That leaves only my father. You never speak of him, do you? That's because I can't remember him. Can or won't, sir. Are we close to Link's core? Almost certainly, sir. I can sense its presence in a strange and mysterious way. Like the old man, the pictures in the campfire. He saw it too, the evil beneath the city. And then he died with the rest of the tribe. This isn't the time for remorse, sir. You must destroy the evil and avenge their deaths. Never mind. <laughs> Where's his little parts? <laughs> Let's see. Let's go this way. It's storage. For what, I couldn't guess. It's storage. For what, I couldn't guess. I'm obviously supposed to put my hand on that. I'm obviously supposed to put my hand on that. That tickles. <laughs> that tickles. Maybe I didn't ask him to do it too. So now Joey's name is changed to Ken. And I think it's because of Ken dolls. <laughs> <laughs> that he wanted to call him that. He's naked. Place your hand on that lock sensor. With pleasure, sir. Uh-oh. Hey, rubber man! <laughs> What's wrong with you? I appear to have a problem, sir. My hand has melted onto the door. <laughs> I don't like to leave you here. I'll be free in no time, sir. Have you got an axe? No, I haven't. Why? You could have used it to sever my hand. That's unthinkable. Still stuck? I'm afraid so, sir. It's frustrating, to say the least. Never mind. what keeps the pipes in place. so I don't have to mess up over and over again. The cable should bear my weight, if it doesn't slip loose. Rats! I can't climb to the cable from here. Supplying nourishment to that organism. It's sucking and stretching out for nourishment. Gross.
feed the tissue in there. Yes, I've poisoned the sludge. Ew. It's sucking their or no, the orifice is sucking and stretching. If I swing on that, I'll either reach the... This could be the second most stupid thing I've ever done. The <laughs> second most stupid thing? Ugh. What's he wearing? Seaweed. Father? Is that Robert? Oh, my son. Why did you come here? I thought you'd be glad to see me. I did everything I could to stop you. You're in terrible danger. Get away. I'm taking you with me. How do I disconnect you from the machine? Listen to me. Link needs a replacement for my brain. And the best choice was someone related by blood. It sent Reich and his goons to bring you here. Link killed Reich when he threatened you. But if Link wanted me alive, why did it wreck the helicopter? That was my doing, Robert. I managed to wrest control from Link for a few seconds. Long enough to cause the crash. I hope to spare you my fate, Robert. Ken, mm. you're just in time. His arm's uh, gone. I thought you might need a hand, sir. <laughs> I've got a bad feeling about this, sir. What happened, Father? Link has rejected me. And without it... I'll die. Help me, quickly! What do you want me to do, sir? Give him a kiss. Sit in that chair. Are you going to plug me into Link, sir? I hope you know what you're doing. Something is happening, I think. Yes, I'm gaining control. I found my destiny, Mr. Foster. Is that good or bad? Can you ever Ugh. forgive me, Robert? For letting your machine kill my mother? Please, try to understand. It was the greatest experiment ever devised. Tapping the unexplored depths of the human brain. The potential of the subconscious mind. You fused with this machine deliberately? It was a well-considered plan, my boy. Well-considered? It was nothing but megalomania. I had a dream. The fusion process was an apparent success. But the computer shared access to my human failings. It learned of greed, of vanity. It reveled in the power it wielded. I was almost powerless in the hands of this monster. Which is the monster, father? The computer or you? Robert. Oh, Robert. You were my only reason for wanting to live. Father? Father! Too late. It's over now. Aww. About the vacancy in the sewage grading plan, Howard. Perhaps we should assign the position to Gilbert Lamb. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Hobbins. Hello, son. What do you want? I've come to say goodbye. You still plan to go back to the Gap? Yeah. I've had it with city life. I'm certainly going to miss you both. Why don't you come too? We got enough to do. Get in Union City back to normal. I reckon you'll make a great team. Will you come back to visit us, sir? I'm not sure about that, Ken. But I'll be thinking of you. 
Oh, by the way, Mr. Hobbins, here's your wrench. Thanks, son. I'll need that if Ken gives me any trouble. Goodbye, <laughs> friends. And thanks. Be vigilant. Well then, I guess that's it. <laughs> it's a neat little game. Now we can play the next one. I can't wait! Almost in time. Yeah, we got about 30 minutes left. <laughs> Is, the music is really good in this game, just not this version of the game. <laughs> the Amigo is much better. Whenever I, uh... <laughs> the least terrible music so far. Um, I like to listen to a long play of this game. But it's always the Amigo version. <laughs> I just like to listen to it, um, like whenever I'm doing things. I don't really watch it. Which is why I didn't know how to do most of the stuff. <laughs> the stuff like the uh, Link space. He doesn't talk in there, so I don't know what goes on in there. I can only hear the music. <laughs> I don't know what I'll do for 30 minutes, 20 minutes. You're not filling the blind with much confidence. If you can't win despite listening to the game a million times. Oh. <laughs> Well, I'm not sure a blind person could play this game anyway. <laughs> it's only a handful of games I can think of that blind people could actually play. You bet the new game's gonna be good? I hope so. I, I kind of started it a little bit. <laughs> Um, I haven't really gone past two screens. I just want to see how it played. It plays really strange. It's on my iPad, so I've got to make sure that my AirPlay program on my computer works, because it recently had an update. I've, every time there's an update, I've got to recalibrate all this stuff. I don't know. It's weird. a lot of credits to this game. I mean, it's not even crediting a lot of people, it's just taking its time. <laughs> Doing one person at a time. 
should play that Amiga adventure game with Amiga Blue talking the whole time. Which game is that? Is it something you showed me recently? I swear I remember something. My memory is so awful. That guy's video you showed me earlier had Amiga Blue's voice and it made my blood boil. Remember, but all the dialogue was Amiga Blue. <laughs> I don't know if you remember, but that game that I made that uh, song for your birthday, and you were like, Whoa, they're talking! I made it the Amiga Blue and Amiga Red characters in it, and my daughter plays it all the time, and it's just so funny when she's like, It's Amiga Blue! <laughs> And I'm like, I make a blue. <laughs> 